In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Civivi Brigham to the Protec Malibu. Hey everyone, it's Wes Newman with The Pocket Perspective. If you're new here, this channel focuses on reviews and how-tos of EDC gear, knives, flashlights, things like that. In today's video, we are going to be comparing the Civivi Brigand to the Protec Malibu. Before we get started, I just want to thank Jake from Bearded Gear for loaning me his Protec Malibu. I did a full review of it, I'll post it up above. And I also did a full review of the Brigand, I'll also link it up above in a card. I also uh, put Jake's channel, Bearded Gear, down below in the description as well as his Instagram. Jake does uh, daily uh, reviews, uh, mostly on knives, but other gear as well. He's got a ton of reviews uploaded and he's got a very interesting review style that is very complimentary to mine. You know, most of my stuff is on specs, you know, with a little bit of experiences we've throughout. His is fully on experiences. And so I think if you, you know, watched a review of the same knife on both of our channels, you would definitely come away with uh, interesting tidbits from both. So, you know, I, I've enjoyed having conversations with Jake and I've enjoyed trading knives and hopefully we'll trade some more stuff in the future. So with that, let's get started. So I'm gonna read you some specs off and I'm gonna start with the, the Civivi first and then uh, the, the Protec Malibu will be the, the second number. And uh, the blade length is uh, 3.46 inches on uh, the Brigand and uh, 3.25 on the Malibu. Close length is 4.45 versus 4.25. Overall length is uh, 7.92 versus uh, 7.5. Handle thicknesses are very similar. We have uh, 0.51 uh, versus 0.48. Uh, blade thicknesses are, are very similar as well. We're at 0.12. Uh, versus 0.125. Uh, the weight is, is a little bit different. We're at 3.77 ounces or 107 grams on the Brigand and uh, 3.15 ounces or 89 grams on the Malibu. Uh, so the Malibu is, is, is a little bit lighter for sure. Uh, the, the blade shape is basically the same, you know. Uh, some people call this a uh, reverse Tanto. That's what uh, Protec's calling it. Um, you know, I, I see other people call this like a modified sheep's foot. Uh, I'm not sure what the what the correct name is, but they're they're both very similar regardless. They both have high flat grinds. The uh, the the blade on the Brigand is a little bit taller. I should compare them the other way so you can actually see. Uh, so the the Brigand's a little bit taller, and so is the grind. Um, you know the. The steel on both is quite a bit different. We're, we're, we're talking D2 on the Brigand and the CPM 20 CV on uh, the Malibu handles. Uh, we have G10 on the Brigand here on top of stainless steel uh, liners. And then these are just uh, full aluminum on the Malibu locks. We've got a liner lock on the Civivi and we have this uh, button lock on the uh, the, the Protec. Uh, clips, we have uh, left and right hand side uh, deep carry on the Brigand and just right hand side deep carry on the Malibu. Origin, uh, this one, the, the Brigand is made in China and the Protec is made in the US. Uh, price difference, this is where they differ quite a bit. Um, the Brigand is uh, $70 MSRP or 60 street price. And then the Protec is 270 MSRP or $200 uh, street price. And then uh, the measured behind the edge thickness, uh, we were at 18 thousandths on the Brigand and 22 thousandths or tw between 22 and 25 on the uh, actual Protec. And so, uh, you know, spec wise, uh, the Brigand is going to be a better better slicer. You know, it's got a taller blade and a taller grind and it's thinner behind the edge. So. It's gonna be a bit of a better uh, slicer geometry wise. Uh, so that is the specs. Moving on to the design of both knives. Uh, the Brigand was re released late uh, 2019 and the Malibu was released uh, early uh, 2020. Uh, the Brigand has uh, a couple different uh, color options for the scales and they've just recently come out with a Damascus blade and then uh, brass and copper handled variants as well. And so that's typical with Civivi to see a lot of different style of, or a lot of different color uh, 
handles and materials. Uh, Protech, on the other hand, has uh, a different uh, blade that you can get, a blade shape that's uh, a Warncliffe, and uh, you can also get uh, a blue handled variants. There's also high-end uh, titanium and Damascus ones. Uh, they get uh, they get pretty pricey as well. Uh, you know, moving on to the aesthetics of the knife, obviously these look very, very similar. You know, they both have similar looking blades and also similar looking handles. And so I'm drawn to both of these. Like uh, when I saw the looks of both of these knives, uh, I, I like the looks of both of them. They both appeal both very utilitarian and clean looking, which are two things that uh, I really appreciate in the knife world. Uh, you know, the blade shape, um, you know, they have this this reverse tanto modified sheep's foot. It's, it's, it's just a great utilitarian style knife. It's great for slicing. You know, the, the tips are nice. Um, I like the lower tips uh, on this style blade. Uh, they seem to, uh, work better for me um, when you when you point the blade when you point the knife down to open something you know if the tips up here you end up having to do this with your hand and so uh, you know when I'm cutting into something I like it to be a little bit uh, a little bit lower and so I just find that's a little more functional for uh, my daily tasks for opening items or cutting through something or just piercing in general and so I like a bit of a lower tip um, Blade wise, you know, uh, this, this also has uh, jimping on the type of the, of the brigand. There's no jimping here on the Malibu at all. Uh, this obviously has a finger troil here that is, that is functional. And then the Malibu has a, a sharpening choil. And so that actually is kind of what makes up the difference in the, in the size. So if you look at the actual cutting edge, see if I can get this where you can see the, Cutting edge wise, the Malibu's longer. Um, you can see there. Uh, but blade length wise, the Brigand is longer. Um, so uh, th that's uh, makes for a little bit shorter knife, but the, you get more uh, uh, hand positions with this front finger choil as well. Um, this this also has a, a belt style finish. It looks almost like scotch bright finish on it. Um, where this is a stone wash. Both of them have really nice looking finishes in my opinion. Looking at the markings of both, they're both very clean. Uh, this, the Brigand does say D2 on it. Um, see where it, right? I don't know if you can see it there. I'm getting the right light there. You can see it says D2 just barely right there. That's the only markings on, on the actual blade. Of course, they have the Civivi logo on the pivot. On the Protec, they, they have done uh, nice stylish uh, markings on the spine here. You can see there. And then the blade steel is marked right there. And so I think uh, I like that look. I like clean looking knives. Both of these are very clean in the markings department. Uh, steel, on uh, they, they, they vary quite a bit here. So the Brigand is using D2. Uh, which is a semi stainless steel uh, that's got uh, you know decent toughness decent edge retention um, you know the, the not so awesome corrosion resistance you know that's why i call it semi stainless it is basically you know the the now um, budget uh, steel that you see in a lot of knives uh, you know it, it, a lot of custom makers still utilize this steel though and it's a good quality steel and uh, i'm happy to see it in a lot of budget knives you know, versus the CPM 20 CV, it is it is a superior steel in my opinion. Um, yeah, edge retention uh, is just a little bit better. Uh, toughness is about the same, and uh, corrosion resistance is quite a bit better. And so this is you know in my mind, you know it's also a powdered steel as well. So it's just a superior steel uh, overall, and it's you know what you kind of see in uh, you know those mid to, to higher end knives, and you see it on a lot of higher in uh, custom knives as well. And so I, I would give the steel, um, give the nod to, to Protec in that department. Uh, action wise, both actions are really good on both knives. So we'll start with the, start with the Civivi and you can see uh, the flipping action is really good. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice and easy to close. Uh, it, it's a, it's a pleasure to use, definitely. So it's got, it's got really good action. 
Um, but it's it's not as good as the ProTech, and you know that's no surprise. You know this is you know 2020 knife of the year by a lot of YouTubers and reviewers, and uh, you know this this button lock mechanism makes it super fidgety. And I love playing with this knife, and I can see why you know it won the hearts of a lot of people. So I would definitely give the action uh, you know to the Malibu for sure. You know the the lock on both. Um, you know, it has a liner lock on uh, the Civivi, which is pretty standard for Civivis. Um, you know, the, it's easy to access the lock bar, no problems. And so it's just, you know, a, a good quality liner lock, no problems there. Uh, the ProTech, uh, on the other hand, has this button lock and that's what makes it way more fidgety. And I, I typically you see the button locks on automatics and um, no, I, I haven't seen any strength tests on on button locks, um, so I can't really uh, speak to that. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research, but I've got several automatics with button locks and I, I do like button locks. Any lock that gets my fingers out of the path of the blade, I'm gonna lock, I'm gonna like. You know, any any time that I can, you know, close a knife without looking at it, you know, if I'm up on a ladder or doing something where I can't really look at the knife and I just need to like put it away very quickly and I've got something else in my other hand and I'm doing something, you know, that's one of the reasons why I, I like a, a button lock or compression lock or back lock or anything like that where I can just, you know, make sure my fingers are not gonna be in the way of the blade. Uh, but, uh, you know, liner locks are, are, are perfectly fine as well. You know, looking at the handles, uh, they vary different, obviously. So we have G10 on the Civivi. It's got a, looks like a milled texture and it has, um, you know, some uh, chamfering around the edges and then it's shadow boxed onto the liners. And, uh, you know, there's a little bit of skeletonization on one side. Uh, there you can see. Uh, I, I like this material. I like this texture that they put on it. I don't think that that is, it, it may be the peel ply texture, but I don't know. I think it may be uh, machined in there i'm not sure but uh, i do like the texture that's on the g10 the aluminum handles uh you know are not my favorite on the protec i do like the little scallops here um but i'm just not a huge fan of, of aluminum handles in general i hope that protec comes out with some some additional handles or comes out with more titanium variants you know with in, in a little lower price but uh, uh you know handle material i like the, i like the civivi better uh, the hardware on this, uh, I just want to talk about that for a second. It's, it's T8 and T6 on um, the Civivi, uh, whereas on the ProTech, it's, it's T6 on the, the clip and on the stop pin, uh, but it's a 16th inch Allen on, um, on this, this, the backspacer or the handle, it's not really a backspacer, and then the pivot is an Allen. So. Not sure why they mixed uh, mixed uh, hardware type there, but I would have preferred to see all torques on that. But I guess it really doesn't matter if you're mixing sizes as well. You still got to have multiple bits. So I like the hardware a little bit better on the on the Civivi. You know, as far as uh, ergos go, they're both really good. Um, you know, they both really feel good in the hand. Uh, you know, they they lock up really good. The, the Civivi has this uh, this large finger uh, groove here and it has the finger choil here up front. So there's multiple hand positions for sure on the Civivi. I also like the jimping. It's not super grippy. I, I would like to see this just, just a hair more uh, grippier, but uh, the ergos on this knife are really good. Um, you know, you, you can definitely, you get plenty of extra room there. I've got small medium hands, medium hands, and there's plenty of extra room there for people with, with bear paws. I will say though, there is a bit of a hot spot here on the clip. And, you know, I've dinged Civivi for that on the past. You know, this clip is, is completely squared off right there and it should really should be rounded some, uh, you know, and that really just kind of bites into my palm right there. And uh, it's, it's not terrible, but uh, all of the Civivi uh, clips seem to do that to me. You know, the ergos on the ProTech uh, are really good. Uh, in general, the ProTech fix, fits my hand a little bit better, but I think it, it may end up being a little bit small for some people. You know, if you've got really XL size hands, you know, you're gonna be over here off, off, off the back. 
I also think that this finger groove may be a little on the small size for some people. It's it literally fits my hand perfect. So I'm not complaining for me. I'm just saying that if you have large hands, you know, it, it, uh, it may not uh, be the uh, perfect fit. They're both very slender as well. I like the slenderness of this handle. The Malibu locks up great. You know, no problems with it wanting to roll or torque or twist. And you can see here that they've uh, kind of rounded off the, the clip a little bit and it's, it's not, I don't feel a hot spot at all. And so, um, the carry on these two knives are both really good. So let me close these up and you can, we'll compare clips and carry. I know I've already talked a little bit about clips, but here you can see the Civivi is, is basically full deep. And, uh, if you look at, um, the clip here, uh, the screws are countersunk, although the clip is not, um, uh, whereas on the Malibu, uh, it's fully countersunk, both the clip and the screws are countersunk. And so, um, in general, the, the Malibu carries, uh, better, uh, for one, it's, it's a bit of a smaller knife, so it's not as, as wide in this area and, uh, it's, it's, it's lighter. And so it, it does seem to, uh, carry easier for me, although neither one of them are difficult to carry. Of course, they both have flipper tabs sticking out and the, you know, you're going to ram your pinky into to both of those for sure. If you, you know, don't watch what you're doing when you stick your hand in your front pocket. Although I'm a, I'm a right rear, uh, carrier of knives typically. And so it, it's not a problem for me, but carry on both knives is good, but I would give the edge to the Malibu just, uh, you know, in weight and slenderness and that clip is just, you know, a tad, a tad bit better with it being countersunk and and uh, no hot spot. Let's take a minute and talk about the build quality of both knives. Both Civivi and ProTech uh, both do fabulous jobs. Fit and finish uh, from both brands is, is always top notch. You know, that's one thing I really buy, like about Civivi. You know, I know they're a budget brand, but I mean, they do a fantastic job. I'm always so surprised when I pull one out of the box and look at it. I mean, it's almost always just perfect, right? Um, and the ProTech is no different. So if we if we just start comparing the typical stuff that I like to look at, the grinds, you know, on the Civivi are perfect, you know, which come to be expect from a machine knife. I like the looks of the finish. Again, it looks like some sort of Scotch Brite type finish. Um, you know, it's fairly uh, reflective. Um, you know, I've already talked about the markings, very minimal markings. You can just barely see the D2 there on it. And the ProTech uh, is no different. Grind lines are basically perfect. Uh, looks really good. And we've already looked at the markings. I really like that. Um, you know, they could show up just a hair bit better, I think. Um, you know, the, but this is also not a brand new knife. And so um, you can see that one shows up a little bit better. And so I'm wondering if that's, if that's worn a little bit on the spine, but uh, I, I do like the stone wash on the ProTech. I probably prefer the stone wash finish to uh, the Civivi just because this is so highly reflective. Uh, I like uh, my things a little bit more muted. I'm more of a, a matte type guy or mat. Um, but uh, it's uh, both are good uh, blade finishes. I, I like them both. Uh, handles, both are, are nicely done here. Again, I've already talked a little bit about the chamfering and just the overall. One thing I didn't talk about, uh, and this is not really build quality, but it's more of a design thing, is uh, I would have liked to seen this been like a constant offset right here on this uh, part of the of the, the the handle, that chamfer. I would have liked to seen that been constant, just like the rest of it. This just throws off the looks of the knife, in my opinion. You know, it gets too close right there. I'm sure that's by design, but I, I would have liked to seen that, you know, come in and just, you know, be a constant offset. So, but overall, you know, there's, there's really no problems with the, the fit and finish of the handles. Of course, these are shadow boxed, uh, makes it a little bit easier. Don't have to have as, 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 uh, precise, um, you know, to meet up, you know, you can just mass produce these and put them right on and you're not going to be able to see, you know, any variations there. One thing I didn't talk about is the lanyard loop. So I'll take a minute and talk about that. Um, I like this style of lanyard hole where it's very unobtrusive. This also has a G10 backspacer back here that matches uh, versus the ProTech. 
uh, where um, you know the the lanyard hole is in the back here and you can't even see it really so I prefer this style lanyard hole where I don't use lanyards and so if I don't have to look at them I like it even better it makes the knife look cleaner uh, but the Sabibi, you know, this this looks good too. Uh, so the handles are good. I do like the scallops here. The Anno seems really, uh, really high quality on the Malibu. There's a few little snail trails there already on it. Uh, but this is not a new knife. Jake's carried it. I've carried it. And it seems to be holding up, uh, holding up really well. Uh, lock up. Um, lock up on the Sabibi is right there where you want it. You know, right at the about the 40% mark or wherever. Uh, lock up on uh, I, don't, I don't really know how you measure lock up on a button lock but uh, it does lock up and there's no blade play so I think it's you know it's pretty much good to go the way that these uh, these button locks work is, is pretty interesting essentially it just whenever the the blade comes comes over um, you know this pops out into the relieved area in the blade and then it locks up and it can't close on itself and the same thing happens when you go to close it it actually, you know, does the same thing. It pops back out into a groove, and um, that's that's how you get the detent action itself on this uh, this button lock. Uh, moving on to sharpening. I'm sorry. Moving on to uh, centering. If I can get it there. Both knives are perfectly centered. No problems there. Perfectly centered blades. Uh, sharpening is basically absolutely perfect on the brigand um, it looks like it's even from heel to tip it's really kind of hard to hard to get on video but the, the width seems to be the same all the way from heel to tip so bb always does a nice job on sharpening always very sharp protec is good um it, it's not as uh it's not as consistent, you know, you can see it's a little bit, it's not uh, as, as a tall of a sharpening. So um, as back here in the middle, um, so it's good, you know, it's just not not absolutely perfect. It's not a problem at all. Uh, it's something to be taken care of in the first sharpening, but you can see it's definitely not as tall uh, towards the tip it is, it is in the belly and at the heel here. So overall, uh, build quality is phenomenal on both. Both companies always do a good job and I'm always impressed with Sabibi being such a budget brand and how good a job their fit and finish is. And uh, Protec, you know, is, is known for quality. And so uh, build, build quality is actually phenomenal on both, both, both plates. In summary, I think both the Sabibi and the Protec are fantastic EDC choices. They have a lot of similarities. Obviously, the profiles of the, are very similar. It's same, similar blade shapes, similar handle shapes. Uh, both are flippers running on bearings. Uh, both have great action. You know, the Sabivi is a little bit longer knife. Uh, has, you know, this front finger choil, a little bit uh, uh, more hand positions. Uh, it's, it's a little heavier, um, but it's also... Uh, like a quarter of the price, not quite a quarter of the price. Um, you know, the ProTech is a little bit smaller. It's lighter weight. Uh, it, the the action is undoubtedly better. It's the fidget factors through the roof. Um, it fits my hand a little bit better, uh, but the Civivi fits my hand just fine. You know, which one's better than the other? You know, I. <laughs> It depends on you know what you're looking for. I think uh, it all really comes down to to price and what you're going to use the knife for. Um, you know, if you're looking for a uh, work knife uh, that you don't have to worry about uh, dropping or possibly breaking, or if you lost it, it wouldn't be a huge deal. I would definitely be looking uh, at the Civivi, and I would be using Civivi as a work knife in a, in a daily, uh, in, for daily tasks for sure. Um, and it's also great for EDC. In fact, I have two of these knives, if that tells you anything. I have two of these brigands. I really like the looks of them. I think they're super functional. Uh, you know, if you've got the, if you got the budget, um, you know, the Protect is a phenomenal knife. You know, is it worth, uh, you know, 3.3 times the amount or what, whatever it is? Uh, you know, I think that's up to you, um, you know. I, it's definitely got bl better blade steel, 
It's got better action. Um, it fits my hand better. Uh, and I'm looking at picking one up myself. And so, you know, which one's better? I, that's, that's for you to decide, you know? So I think they're both uh, phenomenal choices. And with that, I just wanna thank you for watching. Let me know down in the comments which one you like better. Do you like the Civivi or the Protec? Do you think the Malibu is worth close to four times the amount? Which one would you choose? And as always, if you enjoyed this content and you wanna see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.